absolutely got the doors beaten off of us. Is that the expression? But we had a pretty good game, so I'm gonna go in and be confident here. What up, Ash? Press? No. Uh, I gotta show you something. Just watch this. <laughs> hey, what's MP stand for anyway? Sounds like a phone to me. <laughs> Y'all got that MP29? That, that Nokia joint? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think it stands for mostly pathetic. No, 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 no. no. Major pose. <laughs> <laughs> Missed the point. <laughs> Musty pillow. Oh! <laughs> Yo, why is that so funny, though? I think it's because she's an agent. Usually they're not funny. They're just suits. But this agent, she is very funny. Oh, yeah. They're supposed to be friends with everybody. You know what I mean? That's kind of their deal. Right. That right? is my deal. I'm either your friend or your worst enemy and Ooh. nothing in between. Mm. Oh. You still salty Ricky Bennon didn't join your agency, Barbara? Oh, come on now. I was just trying to help a brother out. It's not my fault that he doesn't understand the rules of the mm. game. Oh, Shep, you know, I got a serious question for you. Um, so what? Why can't you be more of a leader oh. like MP? <laughs> Why are you gonna now. be so gosh darn selfish all the time, <laughs> P? Man, anyone looking up to that bum now? Good luck leading a team when you buried on the bench. Ooh, uh -oh. <laughs> Dude, but you know who I really feel sorry for? Like, Ooh. honestly, his girl. Oh, <laughs> all these NBA right. players. Mm -hmm. She stuck with that clown? I mean, realistically, man, he probably got a whole closet full of cardigans and pleated khakis. <laughs> <laughs> She'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. Speaking of, yo, Mila, your boy's single. Hit me up if you ever want to see what it's like to be with a real man. Uh, oh, wow. Oh, I yeah. am not touching that one. Look, this episode is going to do numbers, bro. Was there ever any doubt? <laughs> hey, hey, Chef, any final words you want to say to MP? You know, before the camera dies, because we're making this fire content right now. Come yeah, on. yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, I just want to say, your gang's trash, oh, oh. your agent's trash, mm. your girl's trash, mm. and you're trash. Mm. <laughs> Did I forget anything? Girl, agent, no. <laughs> I think you got that covered, buddy. And the mm. next time I see you, I'm going to tell you that to your face. Other than that, you know, uh, just wishing you many blessings, brother. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That's real classy. Why would he even mention me? Is he Shep? Does he need a reason? Yeah, no, he does not. Clown. Look, this means nothing. It's just some loud mouth being a loud mouth. But you do have that Top Takes Daily interview tomorrow. And they are absolutely going to want to ask about this, given yeah, how inflammatory it was. Like I said, it's just, it's, it's no big deal. It is no big <sighs> deal, but we are going to obviously need to strategize your response, okay? So meet me at the business hub after you finished up here, and we'll go over whatever it is we need to go over. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I appreciate you, Ash. Always keep me in the loop, no matter how painful it is. Thank you. Literally what you pay me to do. But yeah. See you in a bit. Okay, that boy just talked way too much ish. I would absolutely kill that man in real life. Are you kidding me? I don't care who you are. I don't care what. You're named after some kind of shepherd. Uh uh. How you going, Josh? Oh, oh, oh. Josh, what's going on, man? MP, how you doing? Bro, I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. Yo, again, man. Thank you for taking the time to see me, bro. That's love. Man, no problem. You know, I was in a similar situation last year, so I think I can help. Oh, hold on. Didn't you go top five last year? And the people loved you too, bro. Man, I went six. And yeah, a lot of people liked me, but there was also a lot of people who were shocked that I went that high. So, especially on social media, bro. Man, tell me about it. Social media can be so brutal, man. Man, that's what happens when it's all anonymous, I guess. Still, you see it all, and it affects you. All right, so, so. That's a good point you said. So, like, how do you deal with that doubt then? Well, I've always been someone who likes setting up teammates, helping them succeed. So, as long as my guys around me were thriving, I didn't really care what anybody said about me. Wait, but hold on. Like, you, you got to play well too, bro. It's not all about the team. Yeah, know? well, me playing well, my you know, it means my guys are playing well around me. So, that's just my game, and I can't really separate the two. Bro, you got the vision, man. You, you got the vision out there. You dropping them down. I see you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Look, I got to bounce, but it was nice talking to you, man. Hit me up if you ever want a hoop or you need any advice or whatever. What was the point of that? We didn't do nothing. <laughs> we didn't talk about nothing. We didn't do nothing. Me. Ash. Not one chair? I don't do chairs. So what about your guests? We all just gonna stand? Stare at you? Guests? 
No. Did you come in here to drag me from my office decor, or do you want to prep for Top Takes Daily? Let's prep. Great. All right. Yeah. So obviously, what Shep said was beyond the pale, uh, but you've already don't. been memed to death on social media, so it's not like it's going anywhere. You know what, Ash, the more and more soon. I think about Shep right now, the angry I'm getting, so I'd rather not talk about this. Okay, be that as it may, you will have to talk about it. And Mila? You can't you spoke about Mila lose your TV? cool on national television. I don't care about TV. That is not cool. I'm sorry. Do you think that this is a prestige TV show? They're going to ask you about it. You're going to talk about it. And you're going to get your emotions in check. Do you understand? That was not acceptable. Sure. Tell that to him when you see him in person. Oh, I will. But when you talk about it on TV, because believe me, you will have to talk about it on TV. You need to keep an even keel. You can say that the comment was unacceptable. You, you can even call him trash if you want. But isn't I don't that care. basically losing my cool again? Not if it's true. Okay? The main thing is you need to keep your cool so that it doesn't look like you're about to attack Kendrick Perkins for bringing it up on television. That's going to make you look weak. I can get with that. You could also, you could play the disappointed parent card. Oh, I... I Expected more from my fellow man, the NBA is a brotherhood, blah, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. High road or low road, right? No, they're both the high road. Both the high road, just different flavors. But the key is you got to be authentic, all right? You need to be you. You just need to be the calmest, most mature version of yourself possible. Yeah, that's yeah? kind of like when I was in college. It kind of reminds me of that mm -mm. time. No, no, I don't have time to go on a trip down memory lane. Do you have anything else to say about Talk Takes Daily? No more questions. Excellent. I'll see you at the studio. I'm going to meet you there. I need to lay some ground rules with the showrunner. I also want to be there in case anything crops up last minute. Does that sound good? Sounds like a plan. Again, thank you for your advice. Thank you mm -hmm. for... Get some chairs in here next time. Engage your core. Sit on the yoga ball. Wouldn't hurt. Did she just call us fat? Damn, bruh. This lady just called us a fatty, fatty 2 by 4 Let's stop, man. You know who I am? I'm MP. I'm Airball Jones. I have to go 340 meters. <gasps> oh my gosh. They don't even have the metric system going. Or what is it? The imperial system? Is that what America runs? Come on, bruh. What is a yard? What you got there, Ashley? Huh? Bunch of hopefuls. Okay. Try and ride your coattails. Doing, uh... Ah, and here he is. MP, my name is Jocelyn Davies, executive producer for Top Takes Daily. So nice to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you as well. As I was telling Jocelyn earlier, uh, we are open to any discussion involving one Chef Owens, but we do expect those questions to be respectful. And if you wish to move on quickly from any given question, we expect that desire to be honored. And as I was just explaining to Miss St. Germain, this is a reputable program on a billion dollar network. We take <laughs> procedures and standards very seriously and will of course treat MP No with snacks that. in the dressing room. Oh my gosh. I will take care of Second it. Second day this week. Got it. Yeah. It's done. Chips, billion dollar cookies, network. crackers, popcorn. Got it, got it. Thank much. you so much. 60 seconds. Thank you. Very reputable. That's Stan right there. <laughs> we'll of course treat MP with the utmost respect and professionalism at all times. Will you guys have snacks? Oh yeah, we got snacks. Hey, and I'm good. <laughs> Let's do it. Jocelyn, I mean it. Okay? This is not the day for Kendrick to try to go viral over anything. Are we clear? Ash, like... Loosen up a little bit. I can handle Perkins. That's no problem. See? MP's a big boy. He can take care of himself. Oh, of that I'm sure. <laughs> but I can take care of myself. Okay, let's not forget that. <laughs> okay. You ready to head a set now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's head over. Everyone, I'd like to introduce MP. Hey, hey, how's it going? Sam Woods, big fan. Nice to meet you. Thanks, man. Of course, you, you know JJ. My guy. Good to see you. And Kendrick. Hey, what's going on, superstar? Oh, awkward. All right, you're going to sit right here adjacent to me. Thanks. All right. Places, everyone. All right, everybody. We're going live. Thanks for coming on the show. Here we yeah, go. Anytime. Uh, Four, three, and welcome back to Top Takes Daily. And for our next segment, we are joined live in studio by the guy everybody is talking about, our very special guest, MP 
Welcome to the program. My man, thank you guys for uh, having me on. Yeah, thank yeah. you for joining us. Now, I know this might be a sensitive subject, but I just want to get right into it. We all saw what happened on draft night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we haven't heard your side of the story. So I'm wondering, how does it feel to be on the receiving end of, of a mixed reaction like that? On, on what should be the most enjoyable night of your life? Uh, I wouldn't have noticed if it weren't for the press. Comes with the territory. Yeah, it comes with the territory. That just comes with the territory, you know? Like, we make a lot of money, and it's all because of those passionate fans out there. Night in and night out, coming into the games and showing their support. It's because of them, you know what I'm saying? And yes, the fans are free to express their feelings however way they want. But it don't matter to me. I, I mean, are we serious right now? Listen, <laughs> MP, with all due respect, do you expect us to believe that? If I'm my own so-called fans uh -huh. were booing me, that wouldn't sit right with me at all. Yo, Kendrick, my man, it, it, it doesn't bother me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know in the long run people will come around and, uh, you know, see what I'm all about. You know, and that's just giving everything that I got to this game. You know, um, not only to the team, but to this, this, this city, man. You know, it's, it's my job. Proving my worth to these fans is my job. You know, so I know right now they may be booing, but... Soon enough, they're going to be cheering for me. MP, let's stay with the draft for a moment. Mm -hmm. A big part of the reaction to your selection was the fact that Shep Owens, your biggest rival, was still on the draft board. That's right. But a, a lot of people think he has the higher upside due to his athleticism and the fact that he has loads of untapped potential as a relative newcomer to this game, whereas you've been trying to work on your skill set for the last decade plus. How would you respond to people who think you've got the higher floor, but the lower ceiling. Mm. They wrong, bro. I mean, look, Shep would be a great track and field player. Oh, I mean, wow. all you got to do is run fast, jump high, and you get a medal. You feel me what I'm saying? Okay. I mean, but if you want to be the best hoop in the world, you got to shoot, you got to defend, you got to, you know, you got to think at a high level, and Shep does not do that. Oh, shots fired. <laughs> it's the truth. Perk, you know I've been in MP's corner the whole time. Some would. You don't think, Sh come on now. Come on, man. You don't think Shep can learn those things? JJ, man, you know, honestly, I, I really don't. I really don't, man. I, me, I've been working on my craft for years, for decades at that. You know, and my results speak for themselves in both wins and losses. I mean, what has Shep done so far? Other than filming his little reality TV show and going around shopping for chains, he ain't done nothing. It's a good show. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> come on, man. Um, it's more entertaining than his game. Yeah. It, that, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. But, you know, me, I'm a student in the game. I've watched plenty of tape on this guy, and he just doesn't think on a high level. And he doesn't make game-winning plays. Simply put, simply put. Not like I do, at least. You know, you can dunk from the free throw line. You can win the dunk trophy, whatever, whatever. But those guys winning that dunk trophy aren't the same guys winning Larry O'Brien at the end of the season. And that's just facts. Mm. MP, you know we keep it real on here. I got to ask you, man to man, how do you respond to Chef Owens calling you out on his reality show? Oh, wow. This dude took shots at you. He took shots at your family. He even took shots at your girl. What do you say to something like that? I'll kill him. Ooh, I'm embarrassed for him. That's a good one. I like that. You know, I, I'm going to say this as calmly as possible. Because at the end of the day, it's disappointing to me. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, basketball is a place where you express joy. Yeah, I want to beat my opponent, uh, my opponent. Don't get me wrong. So in the heat of the moment, words do get exchanged. But to talk about another man's, another man's family? Like, fam, I'm embarrassed for him. My man has a lot of growing up to do. Well, what I want to know and we want to know, the next time you two meet, are mm -hmm. you going to exchange words? Are y'all going to exchange words? <laughs> uh, I don't know. But I'm sure there's going to be a discussion that I can promise you. You know, I'm not expecting him to change his stripes. You know, he is who he is. You know, so when someone shows you who they are, you believe them. Mm. That's it. You know, that's what my parents told me, and that's just how I live. Well, this has been unforgettable, and I'd love to continue this conversation, but unfortunately, we are out of time. MP, thank you.
for joining wait, us. Wait, so that's it's it? It's been a real pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, and we got to wrap things up. But you have been a tremendous sport, and we really appreciate you answering the tough questions. We wish you all the best, you and your family and your girl. Uh, coming up next, we talk early season God, contenders jokes, and pretenders. But first, this commercial break. That's it. Girl backbone, they don't like me. Ah, it's all good. What you gonna do? People don't like you. That's life, bro. That's life. Let's just get on with it. Let's play some basketball. I'm like half an hour in to watching nothing but really awkwardly animated cutscenes and spinning in circles because I slipped on some fucking oil that is apparently all over the 2K city. It's just hoop. We ain't a starter. We playing off the bench. We playing in garbage time. We still trying to earn our minutes. So there's nothing for us to do here. No, no locker rooms to look at. Although cheerleaders, hey. Hey, ladies, how you doing? Look at how they're marching like damn soldiers. Hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop, hip, hop. All right, y'all are robots. Let me just go right through you. Who are we taking on? Markel Fultz? That's a good matchup. I'll take that to my bank. They also got me in as point guard, finally. You see, every time that I'm in as point guard, good things happen. And Fultz is just running around. My gosh. All right, I'm there. I'm there. Contesting. And he still gets it. That's a bad start. That's a real bad start. Do I got any good plays going though? No, I don't. Okay. Who is our center? Obi Toppin is our center. In theory. Well, that's not what you want to see. Come on, Toppin. Lay it up. So what I learned from uh from watching this and playing is that uh, I'm not supposed to alley-oop it ever unless there's a completely clear lane. Which makes sense. Unless you're the CPU and they just oop it like... <laughs> through traffic just because they can. Ooh, is that Mo Bamba? No, that's Jonathan Isaac. He's still gonna green. Very conservative play. Not as exciting as you'd like it to be, but look at that pass and look at him once again. Obi Toppin gonna be the king of my game right here. Come on, Jules, you gotta play some defense here. I know you don't care about defense, but come on, bro. Oh, this is me. This is me. Too easy. Taking it myself. Two points, two assists. Just like we drew it up, scoring every possession. Now lock up on defense, get a stop, we'll run in the transition. All right, Jules, this is going to be you. That's you. That's you. Too easy. Another assist. Dimer, I got that new badge. I bumped up my pass rating. I don't know if I can show you. I bumped up the pass rating about three points because that's all the VC that I have. I spent the rest of it on uh, drugs and hookers. And then I added the Dimer badge and some kind of useless defensive badge. Oh, that was mine. That was mine. Look at this screen, though. Obi Toppin with the block. Yo, hit me. I'm taking it. Oh, pass it. Damn. Thought I had something going there. Uh, Quick is just going to be crazy here. And he's going to randomly oop it. That's what I'm talking about when I'm saying contested oops that the CPU does. They just decide to throw it whenever. I don't know which side I want this screen to go. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. Too easy. Who's that? Mo Wagner? He can't stop me. Mo Wagner. But we got to stay up and keep up with Cole Anthony. Lock down at least a little bit. Try to limit his offensive output. Boom, boom. Who's that? Mo Wags? Trying to get filthy? Drawing a foul. Come on, Obi Toppin. You got Mo freaking Wagner on you. Dude's like at 60 overall. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Give it to Julius Randle. Let him throw it down. This game is too easy. I'm just setting people up. Dimer. I'm there contesting. I'm running. I'm cherry picking. I'm open. Oh my God. What kind of pass was that? What kind of catch was that? What kind of pass was that? What kind of catch was that? So I'm clearly wide open. Cam Reddish just needs to throw it in the general vicinity of the hoop. He kind of does. And what is this? What is this volleyball tap that I do? Whoop. I go, da, 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 zoof, bam. Oh, my God. Wow. Cole Anthony just yammed it all over Obi Toppin. Woo. Let's see if we can at least tie this game up here. Go, Obi. Little, little jump hook, Obi. 
And the only thing that's working for me is basic bitch assists. If I can just make anything, can I make a three? Can I make a layup? Can I make anything? Right now, all I can make is uh, myself cry. Oh, this is a good screen here. I'm taking it. Come on, what kind of freaking animation is that? Kick it. Kick it again. No, get the foul, get the and one. We high fiving? Let's get it. <laughs> I'll get 10 assists. I don't give a fuck. I'll get 40 points and 10 assists. And by 40, I mean four. We got one screen and roll. Let's go. Let's go. Isaiah Hartenstein. Easy. I'm going to get double digit assists this game. If there's anything I can do, it's pass it to the center. What is this animation, bro? So first of all, I wasn't even trying to set up here. So this is where I'm playing. The play starts here. And then my guy decides, oh, the ball's over here. Let me shade completely over here. Not my doing at all. I did not tell my player to move. What is this? Four, maybe five feet out of the play and give a direct wide open layup. Anyway, Cole Anthony sees this. He drives in. I get the bump. And then he says, let me just spin through you <laughs> to where the ball is literally inside of your head. Uh, you're not going to get a good animation. Is this my screenshot of the day? <laughs> oh my god. And then he gets the wide open easy little layup. Because that's cool. Oh, what is this? Jump hook? And he missed it. He missed my synthesis twice. Well, that's fine. That's fine. Cole Anthony, the game's over. Stop dribbling like a fucking wizard. <laughs> Relax, bro. Well, we lost again. Uh, I can't score. But hey, I can pass the ball like a mother... It's okay. a little bit cramped in here, isn't it? Oh, well, <laughs> we would be happy to have this meeting in your office, Ashley, but you have a strict no chairs policy. That's right. Yeah, and I'm with Milo on this one. I'm a big well, fan I'm of chairs. Pro chairs. think that the, <laughs> the boss girl would have a bigger office, that's all I'm saying. Okay. Nothing more, nothing less. Should we go to hers? No. Then why don't we just start the meeting then? That's a great idea. Yeah. Okay, so like Ricky told you, Okay, we're gonna slow play the whole win over the entire city thing, but that doesn't mean we can't get started, all right? Okay. Since the narrative is a media invention, we think that steering the narrative through savvy use of the media should be our top priority. I mean, that makes per perfect sense. Absolutely. What's the plan? We have a three-prong attack. Three. Prong one, Lozo the Crown. Yep. Excuse me? Lozo the Crown. Government name, Lorenzo Alexander, okay? He is by far the most influential fan of the team on Twitter. By far. And he is solidly, tragically, hashtag team chef all the way. There's that. Yeah. He works at a corner store not too far from here. What? Uh, What's you that said face? a corner store. Yep. <laughs> What's wrong corner? with the corner store? <laughs> Nothing. Okay. Don't start thinking that you're better than people because you can put a ball in a hole. Get you know what? You're right. You got it. Um, I know I'm right. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk over to the corner store, introduce yourself, talk to him, hit him with that MP charm that we all know and love. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. in there. And pretty soon he's gonna be singing your praises on social media. Yep. Okay, so uh, what are the other prongs? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Prong number two. Mm -hmm. I've gotten in with uh, Jake Duvall. Let's go! Okay. <laughs> For real? Yes. Let's and go! Yeah. Love this. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's like... That is so tough. He's like the OG around here, he's man. He's the last real movie star. He's, you know, the unofficial team mascot or whatever. Whatever. Ooh, Let's he's awesome. Rain it in a little bit, okay? I pulled some strings. I got a meeting for the two of you to get together. We're going to see if he can boost your cred with the fan base. Ash, a let's bit. go, man. I'm a huge fan. Okay. I've... Calm down. Right? Just a little bit. Okay, gotcha. Sorry. Got a little hype. Okay. See that. Uh, third prong. Third prong. We set up a puff piece interview for you with someone who can just throw you a lot of softballs. Yeah, we're still setting it up, but it should be a piece of cake, something you can do in your sleep. Okay. No big deal. Meantime, go introduce yourself to Lowe's of the Crown. Yes. At the corner store, right? At the corner store. You got it. I can do that. <laughs> Look. Oh, my God. This guy's got an enormous <sighs> fan base, and his engagement is through the roof, so... 
Yeah. He's also got an 80% likability rating with people who identify as city fans yeah. online, so... Laugh all you want, but getting Lorenzo on your side is the only way you're gonna deal with that problem with Shep you got. Okay, okay, all right, I, I hear you. Yeah. I will go see Lozo at the, uh, at the corner store. Um, you guys want anything? Want some batteries, <laughs> gum, Snickers? <laughs> Okay, Water. just bring back that beautiful smile when you come back, and we can talk about next steps. Now that I can do. Good. Thanks, Ashley. Yeah. What? Hey, what's up, brother? Um, by any chance, do you have any more Glacier Freeze in the back? Uh, I don't see any in the fridge out here. For who? For me, bro. I'm right here in front of you, man. Yeah, I think we all out. <laughs> so if Shep would say you're selling one? Nah, Chef's my boy. His money's no good here. Your money's also no good here, but for like the opposite reason. Well, I didn't know y'all two were like that close. I never seen you two together. Yeah, that's my man's. We like follow each other on social and everything. I'm Lozo the Crown. I'm sure you've seen me. Lozo the Crown. Yeah, yeah, I seen some of yeah, you posting. Yeah, I know. And right. Chef's retweeting me a bunch too, so we good. Okay, cool. So if I retweet you, could I just get the Gatorade? Nah, bro. I don't want your weak game anywhere near my account. My weak game. Yeah, in fact, <laughs> in fact, where you at? As of right now, you blocked. Oh, come on, bro. You know there's more than basketball. There's just a 40-inch vert, right? You know what's wrong with you? You got no backbone. You let people walk all over you. Bro, I just want the Gatorade. That's it. I'm not talking about me right now, bro. You see what Perk said about you? Yeah, he always talks trash. That's what I'm saying, bro. He says you're useless, and what do you do? Nothing. He says you have no upside, and what do you do? Nothing. The man says you're lukewarm garbage, and what do you do? No, no, I got it. Nothing. So you see what I'm saying there? But I don't remember him saying I'm lukewarm garbage, by the way. Oh, he said it. Look, this from this morning. I know I said MP was hot garbage, but I can admit I was wrong. This man, not even hot. He's lukewarm garbage. Same okay. stank, less heat. Got it, got it, got it. I mean, I'm not going to round myself up over one man's opinions about me. That's not what I'm going to do. Look, bro, you can do whatever you want to do. But you want to know why we don't rep you? Why? That's why. You think Shep would let that stand? I mean, Shep's gonna just talk. Nothing wrong with talking if you can back it up, bro. But you know what? I don't think you can get it, because you're not one of us. And you never will be. Okay. You going the wrong way. It's the fridge. You know what? What? You gonna sell me that Gatorade one day. I promise you that. Uh, I don't think so. I don't know what's more cringe. These cutscenes or my gameplay?